Crow Bronwyn, the man that just experienced his worst nightmare. Crow just lost the only two lights left in his life. His nieces, Ruby Rose and Yang Zhao Long. But for now, we have to dig a bit deeper into his backstory and figure out why he's so broken on the inside. Crow, over the course of his time at Begin, began to develop a friendship with his fellow members of Team Stark. And while their team ultimately fell apart, he still kept a close relationship with his teammates. At least, as close as he could. Crow's Simlets has always gotten in the way of his life, for better or for worse. It's believed that this is Crow's all-time lowest, where his drinking became more more and more apparent, most likely blaming his semblance and his life for being cursed. Yet, there was one thing that shook Crow out of this and stopped him from fully going down this dark path. He was not alone in grieving Summer's death. Summer left behind two children, Ruby Rose and Yang Zhao Long. While Crow knew that due to the nature of his semblance that he couldn't always stay close, he felt as if that he had to keep his head somewhat up at least for them. Which brings us back to the fall of Atlas, where he essentially just witnessed the death of his nieces. And based on Crow's reaction, it seems like he didn't know about the plan to Vacuo, much less the ever after. Even when Crow arrives in Vacuo, Team Ruby is still nowhere to be seen and presumed dead, just like Weiss is presumed dead by Winter. Yet this time, it's different for Crow. It wasn't just Summer, one of his teammates, or a potential partner that he lost. In a way, he lost his children. It's been very apparent that Crow has been there for Yang and Ruby all their life. Even when Tai wasn't there, Crow watched the two grow up together, and even taught at Signal Academy, the secondary combat school that Ruby and Yang went to. And now, he's going to be put in a very different situation than before. I can't imagine what Crow's life was like when he lost Summer. I can't imagine the people that Crow's already lost. And Ruby and Ying probably got him out of a lot of dark places. As like many that suffer from alcoholism, smoking, or any other addiction, it's often the kids that drive them to do better. They don't want their kids to see them at their lowest point and letting their addiction take over, or they simply want to be alive for their kid. I wouldn't be surprised if Crow continued saving lives or teaching just for Ruby and Ying's sake, just so that he can be a good role model for them. And I know a lot of you may say Crow isn't a good role model, but he's his own version of a role model and he definitely did his best to be a positive influence. After all, he could have stayed a secluded drunk. Yes, Crow still drinks, but there's no doubt in my mind that he didn't at least try and sober up or even reduce his intake. We saw him downing bottles in volume 6, leaving in a bar, flask aside, and just taking it right down the bottle. We've never seen him like that. Yet Crow isn't alone in this struggle. Tai Yang, the father to both Ruby Rose and Yang Zhao Long, is by his side. And while they have their share of differences, I think we'll really see a true bonding moment between these two characters. It's likely that Tai went to vacuum in the hopes of finding his children after viewing Ruby's message. But upon arriving in Vacuo, they saw neither Ruby nor Yang. Yet, Crow and Ty aren't alone. Winter, as well as her family, all think Weiss is dead, with Winter being the only witness of what happened in the portal room. She's left with the guilt of not being able to save Weiss. The Belladonna's losing their only daughter, and all of Team Ruby's friends will be dealing with their loss. Now, I don't think we'll get a huge sequence of everyone finding out that Team Ruby's dead. While they do have a major impact on the world due to Ruby's message, they have to focus on preparing for Salem. However, I would like a few minutes spent on just following Crow and Winter. If not, then at least when Team Ruby arrive, we the audience can get a shot of Crow's current situation before he hears the news. I think it'd be a missed opportunity for us to not see how our characters deal with the death of Team Ruby. At the very least, we need to see Crow's and the Schnees. While we don't know how much time has passed since we fell into the Ever After, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if Crow left Vacuo or is just somewhere deep in a bar. We saw Crow at his lowest, as stated by Yang, when he learned that he dedicated his entire life all for nothing, at least in his eyes. But now, he's lost the two people that he looked after, on top of losing Summer and losing his own sister in a way. I can't imagine how he's feeling right now. I don't expect Crow to recover right away. Even after seeing his nieces alive, he probably sunk himself so low that it would take a lot more time for him to get his head up. It wouldn't surprise me if he didn't join the battle until later, just because he mentally can't. All those emotions that he's been carrying around for years just drains a person. Looking back at volume 8, we can see the panic and fear in Crow's eyes. It's as if he couldn't afford to lose anyone else. 